Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to expand the function e power x into sin y at minus 1 comma pi by 4 up to third degree term using the Taylor series. The given function, let us take it as f of x comma y that is e power x into sin y and the point here is a value minus 1 b value pi by 4. Now we have to find f of minus 1 comma pi by 4. Now e power minus 1 is 1 by e and sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Let's find fx. fx is nothing but partial derivative with respect to x. So y is constant. So e power x differentiation is e power x and sin y is constant. We will write it as it is. So fx of the point minus 1 comma pi by 4 will give e power minus 1 is 1 by e sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So we got the fx. Now f xx once again e power x is e power x sin y is constant then f xx into of about minus 1 comma pi by 4 again we get the same value 1 by e into 1 by root 2. Then f x x x is nothing but e power x into sin y. So about the point minus 1 comma pi by 4 its values again 1 by e into 1 by root 2. Now we have to find f y. Partial differentiation with respect to y e power x is constant, sign differentiation is cos y. Now f y of minus 1 comma pi by 4. Once again e power minus 1 is 1 by e, cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Then f y y e power x is constant and cos y is minus sin y. So f y y of minus 1 comma pi by 4 will be 1 by e that is e power minus 1 then minus 1 by root 2. Let us take the minus here into 1 by root 2. Sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. Then f y y y is e power x constant as it is. Then differentiation of minus i is minus cos y. So f y y y of minus 1 comma pi by 4 will be once again minus 1 by e into 1 by root 2. Now we have to find f x y. It is the partial differentiation of f y with respect to x. So with respect to x e power x is e power x cos y is constant. So f x y of minus 1 comma pi by 4 will be 1 by e into 1 by root 2. Then f x x y will be partial differentiation of the previous term with respect to x. So e power x is e power x cos y is constant. So f of f x x y of about the point minus 1 comma pi by 4 will give 1 by e into 1 by root 2. Then we also need f x y y. This f y y we have to differentiate with respect to x. So minus sin y is constant. e power x differentiation is e power x into minus sin y. So f x y y about minus 1 comma pi by 4 will give 1 by e into 1 by root 2 with minus sign. Now after finding all this we are going to write the Taylor series expansion formula f of x comma y equal to f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 factorial x minus a into fx of a comma b plus 
y minus b into f y of a comma b. After writing this first term, considering this as a plus b, now next two term we can write 1 by 2 factorial. Now we have to write in the form of a plus b whole square. So x minus a whole square f x x of a comma b plus 2 a b term 2 into x minus a into y minus b f x y of a comma b then b square term y minus b whole square into f y y of a comma b in the same way we have to write a plus b whole cube form. So, a cube which is x minus a whole cube into f x x x of a comma b. Then plus 3 a square b for this f x x y will come about the point a comma b. Then plus 3 ab square this is a and b square f x y y of a comma b and the last term is b cube which is y minus b whole cube into f y y y of a comma b plus dot 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 after this, we are going to substitute the value. The given function is f of x comma y on the left hand side. For that, we have to write the given function e power x into sin y. So, e power x into sin y equal to first term f of a comma b, which is 1 by e into 1 by root 2. So, 1 by e into 1 by root 2 plus 1 by 1 factorial bracket open now x minus a but point is minus 1 so the factor will become x plus 1 and y minus pi by 4 so x plus 1 and f x x f x x is 1 by e 1 by root 2. So 1 by e 1 by root 2 is 1 by root 2 e. Then plus y minus pi by 4 into f y. So after substituting the fx, f y is again 1 by e into 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 e. Then plus 1 by 2 factorial first term is x plus 1 whole square f x x f x x is 1 by e 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 e plus 2 a b term so 2 a and b into f x y which is 1 by e into 1 by root 2. So 1 by root 2 e. Then f y y term is minus 1 by e 1 by root 2. So we will put minus straight away y minus pi by 4 whole square into 1 by root 2 e. Then we have one more set of term that is 1 by 3 factorial x plus 1 whole square sorry whole cube into f x x x which is 1 by e 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 e plus 3 x plus 1 whole square y minus 5 by 4 f x x y which is 1 by e 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 e plus 3x plus 1 into y minus 
pi by 4 whole square f x y y f x y y is minus 1 by e 1 by root 2. So directly we will take the minus sign here. So 1 by root 2 e. So let us not write this plus because we have a minus sign. So the last term is f y y y and f y y y is again minus. So we take minus y minus pi by 4 whole cube into 1 by root 2 g dot dot dot. So we have completed the expansion using the Taylor series.